Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about some of the time intelligence functions in Power BI, like month to date, quarter to date, and year to date calculations. This feature will allow you to compare data across various time periods. Before we start developing this function in Power BI, let's quickly have a look into the definition and then try to implement it. Here we have a few lines explaining what are time intelligence functions. DAX includes time intelligence function that enables you to come manipulate data using time periods, including days, months, quarters, and years, and then build and compare calculation over those periods. So this is self-explanatory. And if I scroll down here, we have various function. And today we are gonna try these three function. That's uh, dates MTD, dates QTD, and dates YTD. So dates MTD returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the month to date in current context. Dates QTD returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the quarter to date in the current context. And the final one that's our dates YTD returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the year to date in the current context. Now let's quickly go to PBI and with the help of an example, let's try to in implement these three functions. So this is the data which I'll be using in this demo. So I have only two columns here. One is the date and revenue. If you notice here, the date, the column date is in the date format. And the revenue, we have it in dollars, right? So, and the date period is between uh, 2018 until 2019. So with the help of this data, let's try to understand how the MTD, QTD, and YTD function works. So now let me quickly go to the report here. And I have added three cards here, one for MTD, another one for QTD, and the last one for YTD. And I also made a note of the definitions here. Now let's quickly create a new measure and click on this table. Call this as maybe total revenue equal to sum of fact revenue, okay? And maybe I can convert this into a currency. So one important thing is the date format should be a proper date format, right? It cannot be a string. So when you have a proper date format, the Power BI, what it does is automatically creates a hierarchy, date hierarchy. If I expand this here, you can see we have this hierarchy, okay? So make sure your date is not a string, but it's a real date, okay? That's the main thing here. So now I have this uh, measure, total revenue. So now let me create a new measure for month to date. Right click and select new measure. And I'll call this as MTD equal to, I'm gonna use calculate function, calculate total revenue. And the filter criteria here is dates MTD, okay? And the argument here is fact and date. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. And let me change this to a, a currency format. And now let me bring this measure to the card, $223. So now to validate this, let me go back to the data here. And if you notice here, the MTD, that's your last month is December, 2019. If you sum it up, right? So we have two rows, December 15 and December 16. 212 plus 11 gives me 223. So it's a perfect match. So it's working as expected. So now let's try to do the same thing with QTD. So quarter to date. So right click and create a new measure. And call this as QTD equal to, again, use the calculate function. Expression is the total revenue. And the filter criteria, I'm gonna use dates, QTD. And the argument is the fact date. So I'm going to use fact date column. 
close the parenthesis and hit enter. And again, I'm gonna convert this into a currency. And now if I bring this to the card here, I have 644 show QTD. So now if I want to validate it here, let me go to the data and let's look at the last quarter. So the last quarter is October, November and December. If we sum it up right, I should be getting 644, 200, 200, 200, that's 400 and some tens, 10, 11, 12 and 11. Okay, so which gives me 644. Let's do the same thing with YTD. So right click and create a new measure and call this as YTD equal to calculate expression is your total revenue and filter that's the YTD, that's YTD and fact date. So let me change this to currency and bring this to the card. So I have the year to date. So year to date is just, if I go back to the data and if I want to cross check, I should sum up all the revenues that was generated during this period between Jan 2019 until December 2019. Okay, which gives me $2.49,000. So this is how we can use time intelligence function to calculate uh, uh, the data across various time periods. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how to do uh, the comparison across time periods. Let's say I want to compare current month with my previous month or current QTD with the uh, previous year QTD or the current year Y today with the previous year. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends or colleagues. Okay, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.